We are uh, Felix and Sander. We are about to uh, make some video tutorials about some handy tools and usages for Ubuntu Touch for developing on the phone. And this tutorial will go mainly about the clickable command. And we assume that you have clickable installed and that you have a phone connected, an Ubuntu Touch phone connected. What will be the first commando that we need to do? To create a new app project for Ubuntu Touch, we type clickable create. And it will ask you all sorts of information about your app. And before you can enter that, you'll have to type yes or press enter to download the app template. We choose one as a QML only uh, example, but we will explain, of course, other ones later on. And now you choose an app title, a short description. This one must not have any spaces. This one we do one. This one entered, take the default, take the default, take the default. And if we now do LS, we see that we have a folder named demo app. I go into the demo app, into that folder, and there I see all these sorts of files. What do I need to do next? If you want to compile your app and run it on the phone, you just type clickable. Right now it's compiling and it pushes the app through ADB to your phone. Yeah, now it's running on my phone. What else comes in handy? If you want to debug your app and see the logs of the app running on the phone, you type clickable logs while the app is running. And there are the logs. If you only want to compile your app and not run it on the phone, you use clickable build. Yeah. I've done so, it's finished. Yes, now it's only compiled and you can't see the app running. And then I seem to can be that I can use this location and this click file and open it directly on my phone, isn't it? The click file is the installation package for Ubuntu Touch. So if you want to install your app on your device, you can use this click package or you can use this package to publish your app. And you might notice the all part there. Mm -hmm. This is a QML only app. And just with clickable, you could choose a template, a QML only, an app with Python, HTML and many more. QML apps are architecture agnostic. So you compile these apps and they can run on any architecture. And for example, there is also a template where you can choose an app with C++. And when you compile an app with C++, you have to specify an architecture. Mm -hmm. So could you please create a C++ app, for example? That's fine. I, do, I go one folder higher. So I'm here and I do now clickable uh, create to create a new project. I want to re-download it, so I type enter. And this time I do two, C++, C, P, P, app, C, plus, plus, app, oh, little typo, but we keep it, uh, C, P, P, app, Sander this time. Sander, Felix this time, Sander, at ut.nl, one, fine, fine, fine. I have to go into that folder, which I am now. And if I do only clickable now, everything seems to go okay. But it ends with this warning, unable to start app. If you look closely to the click package it has built, you'll see AMD64. 
because by default Clickable will use the host architecture of your computer. And I assume that you have an AMD 64 computer. Mm -hmm. So it has built a click package for AMD 64, but your phone can't run it because it's an ARM 64 device. Mm -hmm. So we're going to cancel uh, this command. Mm -hmm. And type clickable dash A ARM 64. Now Clickable will compile this app for uh, ARM64. Yeah, now it is running on my phone again. Very good. Are there uh, different types of uh, architectures or are all the phones like uh, ARM64? The most common architecture right now on uh, modern devices that use Ubuntu Touch is ARM64. But there are also quite a few uh, supported devices with ARM HF as an architecture. These are mainly the older Ubuntu Touch devices, but when you develop and publish an app, it's always a good thing to build it for that architecture too. If you only want to show it on your desktop, because you don't have a phone connected, you can also do the command clickable desktop, can't you? That's right. So if I now run it, I see it popping up on my screen. I see it is now on my screen right next to your command line. And it is like an uh, emulator. And here you can uh, see the logs. It is a small, the small default program that he made for you. So with clickable space desktop, then you can have on the desktop shown what a phone would do. Yes, and this is not as complete as running the app on your phone directly, because you're missing the device sensors or camera, for example, if you want to use it. But it's a good way to speed up development and quickly test your app. I also noticed that you uh, recommend sometimes clickable clean. Yes, if the build progress is not going well, you can use clickable clean to clean the build directory and you'll end up with a clean build directory uh, to build your app again. That seemed to me to be the like most important clickable features, right? Yes, I think we've mentioned the most important clickable commands. Maybe we'll come back on some more obscure commands in a later video. Yeah, and if there are any uh, questions or additions, please add them to the recommendations. Okay, look forward to see you next time. Thanks.